Hey, what's going on, guys? I just decided, screw it, I'm making another video before school. Now this, you may not recognize this, is because I sent the other one back because it broke. Um, so this is the Panda Hobby Tetra K1. Thought I'd do a review on it. Just to tell you how good it is. First, like always, we're going to do low speed modulation test. So I'm controlling this with one hand as before. Pretty good slow speed crawl. I'm going to set up the slope. And then I'm going to ask my mom if we can go into the living room so I can show you what this thing's made of. So here's the slope. It's about 45, 46 degrees. I'm going to line him up. Line him up. Because why the frick not? There's the little slope test for you. Like I said before, the lights are actually way brighter on camera than they actually are. So I'm going to go ahead and stand up. <clears throat> oh. If my mom's sleeping, we can't go out there. So I gotta be so far. That's full speed, quite literally. So we're just going to go ahead and sit back on the floor kind of thing. And we're going to test its crawling capabilities. We're going to do that on my bed. So it's right there. So there's the truck. Damn it. So the comments were turned off on the last video by YouTube because I said it as made for kids. So I'm going to go ahead and crawl on my blanket. I'm going to crawl on my pillows. We're just going to get this damn board out of the way because why the frick not. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to sit right here. No, it's screw it. I'll stand up. Shit. I'm going to take the nicest approach. Hold on, I gotta check the battery voltage. Damn it. Okay. We're still good on battery life.
That took almost full throttle to do that. Is this thing sure it's not dead? So we've got the little indicator. Yep, okay. Looks like we're going back to the damn floor. I was just grabbing the transmitter really quick. Just sit on my bed. Test the crawling performance. That white thing over there is my Tetra X1 body. And this is the Tetra K1. So I can indeed make it a Jeep Wrangler if I want to. With the Tetra K1 wheels. It actually appears much brighter on camera than it actually is over there. So that's why I'm looking through the camera. Now let's see if we can get back out. So now we're going to try the slope of doom again. I tried. But now for the last part of this review, we're going to go ahead and we're going to friggin' commit parts. I'm kidding. We're not going to commit parts. We're going to Go ahead and test the low speed modulation on, say, for example, a shoe. Yes, this shoe is pretty beat up. Yeah, ground clearance isn't the best. Boy. Oops, sorry, Uncle Mark. Now you guys may think, oh, that's just a plush. You don't call it Uncle Mark. My Uncle Mark passed away on January 30, 31st of 2020 because that's the day we discovered he was dead. He died from a heart failure. Yeah. This thing be doing good. Okay. I'm going to end the video here, guys. Sorry guys, but I cannot make this as made for kids because YouTube will demonetize the comments. So I'm sorry, but I just can't. I don't want to risk you guys not being able to comment again. So I have to make it as not made for kids to be able to have comments. So if you guys want to leave a comment on what upgrade ideas you think I should do, I'll ask my mom and then we can go from there. So... My mom's sleeping at the moment, so that's why I didn't go out there, and that's why I came straight back to my room after I dis after I discovered it while you guys were just looking at the Tetra. And I mean the little boy of the Tetra K1. Dodge Power Wagon. E. But, okay, I'm going to end the video, guys. Bye-bye!